and the nights. No regular daily vlog today. Today I wanted to talk to you about something that is important to me. Mainly because I'm talking to myself in whatever time I, I need this video. But you're here, so welcome. Um, Hopefully, someone else out there can get value out of this video. Today, I wanted to talk about backsliding. I'm not talking about like religious backsliding. I'm just talking about reverting to something which you used to be, or a pattern of behavior you used to be in, and you don't want to. In my case, this would be smoking, is what I'm talking about. It's... Someone once told me that quitting something the first time is hard, but every time you quit after that, it gets easier and easier. Now, when you're quitting something like smoking, it's actually the reverse. But I'm going to apply that to quitting, quitting, if that makes sense. Or backsliding into that old behavior that you, or I in this case, have been trying very, very hard not to fall back into. So here, I would say, allowing yourself to slide back into an old set of um, habits at first you fight it because you don't want to do it you know you've made progress you've done well for yourself uh, in whatever decisions you made but if you allow yourself to do it once doing it again is going to get a lot easier. <coughs> the same thing goes with allowing things that you're not okay with to happen. The first time it happens, you may fight it, you may try to do what you can, but over time, whatever situation that is, it's very easy to let either people or circumstances run over the top of you because it becomes part of the norm. I'm in a very scary situation right now where I am about out of my vaping supplies and my intention was when I was out just to be done but I don't honestly think I'm strong enough I don't honestly think I can do it not now Maybe not ever. This could be a low self-esteem thing. Or self-esteem thing. This could be the realist in me. I don't know. But I fear that I won't be able to... Stop it. I fear that with cigarettes being so cheap here that I'll make that choice and especially having two friends here who are smokers. Now last night slash this morning I was talking to Chris aka Acromat 
Um, many of you know him as the guy who um, came up with the good majority of the, the graphics for Impulse. The backdrops, the side banner, the entire look and feel of the show, that was all him. I contacted him because he's coming out, um, which by now, by the time you see this, it should be public knowledge because these are delayed sometime. I contacted him and I kind of feel bad because I did, he said that he, if I shipped stuff to him, he would bring it with him. But he, he said for me to do that if my mom couldn't. And I kind of like made that decision instantly and just shipped it to him. Um, mainly because I knew that it would probably be that would probably be the quicker route, and that though I know my mom supports my decision to not smoke, um, I'm not entirely sure that she understands the emotional separation between smoking and vaping for me. And she's already got a lot of things on her plate. She stays busy. I respect that woman because of that. I respect her a lot because she never stops moving. And I don't want this to slow her down. And I don't think that this would slow down Chris because he's already packing and getting ready to come. So I kind of made that decision for him, kind of, and I kind of feel like a dick about it. But I think it was the right decision. I know getting access to those is the right decision. Um, I got 10 50 milliliter bottles that he'll be bringing with him. And I did step down the nicotine from what I'm used to. Um, I definitely don't have enough vaping supplies to last until he gets here. And that's the scary part for me. I have enough to maybe get me through the week. And he won't be here for three weeks or so. Maybe longer. So during that time, I am scared poopless. And I'm going to do something I regret and it's just going to be a lot easier to backslide the next time. So, my point to help myself in the future, and hopefully some of you, is to just point out that when you attribute something to be one of your core values, something that does mean something to you, something that you stand for, something that helps you identify as who you are, hold on to that. Hold on to that part of your identity. Hold on to that value, that moral code, if you will, no matter how hard it is to just go back into your old habits. If you've been strong enough to make the change, whatever that change is, stick with it. As long as it's what's best for you, stick with it. That's all for today. It's probably already been a very long video. I have, I'm not tired.
Anyways, until next time, like, subscribe, comment, please.